Hello. Welcome to Ecommerce Expert and please subscribe to our channel. Are you an entrepreneur who wants to win over every customer in every sales meeting? Don't know how to sell without being pushy? I'm sure you've heard the phrase every sale starts with a conversation. Regardless of whether you sell used cars, fire extinguishers, headshots or software, it's true. And yet dot every sale doesn't start with conversation. Just because two people are in the same place, it doesn't mean that they have to talk to each other. Most sales don't happen when someone walks up to a counter, places an order for a meal and walks away with exactly what he wants. But selling it is just not happening. What's going wrong? Often, people are doing the wrong things when trying to make sales. In this video I share a new way of looking at selling, and several new ways to help you make more sales. Selling anything successfully is a difficult job. Whether you're selling an idea, a product, or even yourself the skill set is the same. It's never easy to sell anything at marked price, especially when your company is new. You have to practice your pitch, perfect it, and make a connection with the customer. It's also hard to keep your cool when the customer asks too many questions or seems uninterested in what you're offering. Selling at a markup is one of the most important yet difficult, things to do as a retailer. The best way to sell a product at the marked price is to create a positive future vision for your clients. If you've set your sights on a deal, you're bound to run into some opposition. So how do you convince your customers to buy at the price you want? Well, first of all, it's important to know that selling anything at marked price isn't hard. But if you've never done it before, there are a few things you should know. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to selling at marked price and making sure you're getting the most bang for your buck when you sell anything at marked price. 1. Practice your opening and make a connection with customers. When you meet with a customer, start by asking them questions that will help you understand their needs better. Then introduce the deal and show them why it would be useful for them. In other words, demonstrate the value of the product or service. Be enthusiastic about what you sell. It shows that you believe in what you're doing. Having great customer service skills is essential to making a sale, and it will also help you to build up an even better reputation around town. 2. During the first meeting or a call, you should show your intellect, enthusiasm and expertise. If you don't seem like an expert on whatever it is that you're selling, then why would anyone buy something from you? Make sure your client doesn't see any holes in what you're offering. Show them that there's no one more valuable than they are, it will boost their confidence and make them feel important. And don't forget to treat every customer like they're important to you, this is invaluable advice because it can help avoid unnecessary drawback. At the initial meeting, meet somewhere neutral, don't sell from home or from an office unless you are very comfortable in those settings. 3. Keep the customer intrigued and spark their interest. You have to convince them while they're there in person that they really need this deal in their life or at least want it enough that they'll come back to buy it in the future. But keep in mind that people don't buy logic, they buy emotion. Keep the client intrigued and spark their interest by explaining that they will be able to do things they never imagined once they purchase your product or service. 4. People don't buy logic, they buy emotion. Convince him her that he or she really needs the deal even if it's not 100% true and make them think about all of the positive things. Don't get bogged down trying to explain why your product is better than everyone else is on the market, it's more important to sell how it will improve their lives and make them feel happier or more successful in some way. 5. Competing on price is almost always a mistake. Do not compete on price with customer but rather keep on the emotions to make her buy at the marked price. 6. Keep going. You need to practice your opening and make a connection with the customer. Then, during the first meeting or call, you should show your intellect, expertise, and enthusiasm. Keep them intrigued and interested in your product by explaining to them why it's great. People don't buy logic, they buy emotion. Convince them that they really need the deal you're offering. Then sell them on your vision of a more positive future where they have what they want, need because they bought from you. Keep going back to the vision every time they come up with a problem or an excuse why not to buy it now. Keep in mind, anyone can sell something at a marked price, 
but only a true master can convince customers to pay greater amounts. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video with friends. In case of any question or comment drop it in comment section and I will get back to you.